start with some data, raw bytes, which we can just encode as text. Say the string, hello there. SHA-256 takes that input and runs it through a bunch of different math functions and outputs what's called a digest or a fingerprint. In this case, the output of hello there is this. That's the hash digest, a fixed length string representing the raw bytes just encoded in hexadecimal. Now, one interesting thing about SHA-256 is that given the same input, it will always produce the same output. If you hash hello there on your computer, you'll get the exact same result that I got. Every input maps to exactly one output, and it's deterministic. There's no randomness. If we change just one character in the input, like adding an exclamation mark, the output is now this. It's completely different. It doesn't just change a little, the entire hash changes unpredictably. Now, this is a key property of strong cryptographic hash functions. Even the smallest change in the input causes a drastic, unrecognizable change in the output. And if you only have access to the output, the input is unguessable. Okay, so hash functions like SHA-256 have three main properties. First, we talked about this, they're deterministic. So hello there will always hash to the same output. I know it looks random, but it's not actually random. Second, the output is always the same length. Whether you hash a single letter or an entire novel, the result is still a 256 bit or 64 character hexadecimal digest. Third, hash functions are irreversible. If you're only given the hash, there's no way to figure out what the original input was. And hash functions are super important in cryptography. One common use is in verifying file integrity. So for example, say you download a file, like the application word.exe. The creator provides its hash as well as the file itself. Then when your computer downloads the file, it also rehashes it locally and compares it to the published one. If the hashes match, then you know the file has not been tampered with. Another use is verification without revealing any data. Suppose I have a file of secret passwords and you claim to have the same file. Well, I ask you to prove it and you don't wanna give me the file itself because you're worried that I'm lying and I don't actually have it. I'm just trying to get you to give me the data. So I say, fine, look, just give me the hash. And if your hash matches mine, then I know you have the same data. And if I don't have it already, then you're safe to give it to me because I still can't reverse engineer the original passwords from just the hash. Now, that's a simplified example. In practice, authentication systems use things like JWTs, Macs, and HMACs, which are all built on top of hash functions.